Another 800,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccine have arrived in Argentina. They're part of the World Health Organization's COVAX program, designed to ensure they reach all corners of the globe. From today, we'll be working to distribute this latest batch to the different places that need it. We're working as fast as possible and trying to speed up the distribution process. They'll add to the more than 6 million doses already here. But in a country of 42 million, where infections are again reaching record levels, it's not enough. It's also a long way short of the promises made by the previous health minister back in February. With the vaccine agreement we have reached and with the actions we are taking, we estimate that in August or September, we will have vaccinated all Argentines who are in a position to be vaccinated. He later resigned in a corruption scandal. The elderly and vulnerable and some key workers are being vaccinated, but most are still asking when theirs will arrive. They should have been here today receiving their vaccines, but there aren't enough. They're simply not arriving in sufficient numbers. In the meantime, the only other way to contain the virus are further lockdown measures and to keep waiting patiently. Health workers in Mexico were among the first to be vaccinated back in December, optimistic then about a future that has still not arrived. The vaccine will be of great help in reducing the deaths that we health workers have. There is no space in hospitals, and so I think this is a good opportunity. There's a similar picture across much of Latin America, where more than 25 million people have been infected and 800,000 have died. But less than 4 million vaccine doses have arrived in Colombia, half a million each in Bolivia and Ecuador, and just 250,000 in Venezuela, where health workers have been protesting. Our fight is to call for vaccines. Neither the government nor the president have pity for the people. Let the vaccines in. Give us protective equipment in hospitals so that there are no more deaths. The World Health Organization says that for the vaccines to be effective, at least 70% of the population must be covered. One of the few success stories in the region is Chile, where more than half the population has received at least one dose. Meanwhile, the rest of Latin America endures yet more lockdown measures and continues to wait for the vaccines to arrive. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.